So I have this sweatshirt that I wear all the time because it's super comfortable. It's this um, sort of golden yellow color. Um, I got it as a gift and I really like it because of how comfortable it is, but I don't love the color. I feel like, I don't know, it's not like bad, but I feel like there is probably something I could do to make it more me and something that I'm more excited to wear. So today I'm gonna do that. So I got dark green fabric dye. I'm hoping that this fabric dye will be dark enough to cover this color because I know that some people use a color remover if they're switching colors of something but but if it's a darker color I think it's okay to not use a color remover so I hope that that works out. I have no idea. Um, but before I dye it I'm actually gonna do some bleach painting on it and I'm super excited about this because I have never done this before and it's something that I've been seeing a lot everywhere and really wanting to try. So I have my bleach, this is my case of paint brushes, and yeah that's what we're working with. I printed out a design from the internet that I found that I like and I bought an X-Acto knife specifically for this purpose. I cut out the design, it's kind of a precise design. so. I couldn't really just do it with scissors, but if you choose something more simple, you could probably do it with scissors, but mine, there was like no way. So I bought an X-Acto knife. I cut this out and now I have this stencil and then I have like the pieces that were inside of the stencil. So I think what I'm gonna do is use this one. And then for the little holes that are in the butterfly, I will also use this one. I don't know if that makes sense, but hopefully you'll see what I'm doing in a second here. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to do my very best to tape this design down. I'm just going to take this pen and start tracing it. So the whole idea behind doing the bleach design before I dye the whole sweatshirt was hopefully so that when I do the dye, the sweatshirt will turn dark green and the bleached part will turn light green. It even says on the bottle that sometimes bleached fabric does not take dye at all. So I wanted to put that to the test and kind of just see how this would come out if I dyed it afterwards. Okay, so this is the part where I do the bleach. I'm choosing a little tiny paintbrush. I don't know if I should choose one that I don't care about or what. If it's gonna be trash afterwards, I'm not sure. Here's my bleach. Pretty much, I'm just gonna pour this into the cap. So let's just go for it. I'm nervous, but let's do it. <laughs> okay. So painting the bleach on was kind of the most fun part of the whole process. It was very easy to do in my opinion. Um, once I had the outline all traced out, it was just like painting, just like regular painting. I found it fun and relaxing, but I did start to notice that the parts that I was putting bleach on weren't really doing anything. Um, it was pretty much like I was putting water on this. I wasn't seeing any results. It took a while for results to show up. I actually ended up leaving this whole design on for about an hour and that's when I kind of started to actually see the bleach showing up. By the way, my camera is going to cut off before I finish bleach painting this design, but you get the idea. I painted it with bleach. Okay, let me get this started. I'm losing daylight here. So this is how it came out. As you can see, it's kind of subtle but it looks nice I left it in for an hour and then I washed it out now it's time to dye it green with my rip fabric dye so it says one teaspoon of detergent here let me show you my my bin this is a half teaspoon so I'm gonna do two of these oh that was too much this is boiled water in this tub, but it's had time to cool, so it's probably not that hot anymore. Hopefully it still works. 
So there's a cup of salt. This is a half cup that I'm holding here, so. <laughs> I'm gonna add quite some salt to this. That was like all of my salt. This is to wear gloves. Okay, let's go. says mix well. This was the only thing I could find for mixing. <laughs> I guess that works pretty well. This is a really pretty color. Ooh. The hot water feels so good on my hands. It's like really cold out right now. I want like a human sized tub of this right now. Just dye myself green. I become Shrek. So I'm mixing this. It says mix consistently, but I know that this takes like a half hour to an hour. I'm not gonna sit here and mix this for an hour, but I'm gonna come back periodically and stir it. You know what I mean? Ooh, <laughs> I just splash a dye everywhere. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not doing this indoors. I want it to focus on the pink clouds back there, just so you guys can see. Anyways, I'll check back with you soon. So I left it in for half an hour and this is how it came out. I really like the way that the green dye works on the sweatshirt. I think it took it really well. It's a really beautiful color of green, but I don't really like how the design turned out. It's just so subtle that you can barely even see it. You can't really even make out what the design is unless you get really close to it. And I debated for a long time about what to do about this. I was like, should I bleach it again or should I just like take fabric markers and maybe outline it in black or like what should I do and I did decide to bleach it again and my worst fear came true. It turned right back to yellow so it is no longer a green on green design but actually I didn't end up hating this as much as I thought I would because certain parts of the sweatshirt actually stayed yellow like the strings on the hoodie stayed yellow um they didn't take the green dye and same with the stitching on the sweatshirt as you can see that is also still yellow so i feel like the design being a yellowish color kind of does tie it all together and i think it actually looks pretty nice and i was really happy with how this came out even though green and yellow was not at all my goal here. I think it looks good. And this round of bleach was a lot easier to do because I could see the bleach showing up right as I was painting. So it was really easy to like go back and make sure I had details right and all of that good stuff. So I had a much better experience doing the bleach this time. If you're gonna try this, I think I would recommend bleaching after you dye unless you want a very subtle design. 